So you and Stacy are going to a rock and roll memorabilia auction? Well, yeah. They're going to be auctioning off one of the original tiny cowboy bobbleheads. The lefty one. So I guess I won't be seeing you at the annual Danville Meatloaf Festival. No, what's a meatloaf festival? Oh, that's right. You were away at camp last summer when I won this. Meatloaf queen. Wow, that's pretty fancy. And because my meatloaf was voted best at the festival last year, I have the honor of being one of the judges this year. So you have the honor of eating other people's meatloaf all day? Yeah, I'm living the dream. What happened? We were just at the bounce house down at the meatloaf festival. And, and I was there, you know, having a good time. And suddenly... Later! Dude, gotta go! And even though it was funny, I still kind of wish that the bounce house was still there. You know, for the little kids. Buford's right. I am. Even though they're made for little kids, there's something about a bounce house that you can't resist. What if bounce houses were made for bigger kids? Hey! Slightly bigger kids. And what if they just happen to be totally amazing? I stand before you today, and I hereby declare that, that, uh, little help verb? That nobody has yet done justice to the bounce house concept, and that it is up to us to show the world what a bounce house can truly be. For if not us, then who? If not now, when? And if not when, then something else. Gentlemen, I know what we are going to do today. But first, answer me this. Where's Perry? No, seriously, where is he? I don't... I haven't seen them. Morning, Agent P. We've recently found surveillance footage of Doofenshmirtz buying fresh produce. We've concluded there are two possibilities. Either he's up to something sinister that is food-related, or he's cooking dinner because he's got a beautiful woman coming over and he wants to... Imp- Never mind, it's obviously the first thing. Very impressive. Just a little bit more, Ferb. That's about right. Wow, Jamie Oliver. I can't believe we've got one of England's most famous chefs for our little meatloaf festival. Brilliant. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, this year we've expanded our venue. We have 29 varieties of meatloaf-flavored ice cream, as well as various meatloaf-themed attractions and rides. So what exactly is meatloaf? Oh, it's uh, made of meat. It's got bread and onions. Ah, so it's a beverage. Well, no, but it's sort of like shepherd's pie, except there's no potatoes or vegetables, and it's, you know, in the shape of a loaf. You put pepper in it? If you want. Oh, meatloaf! I'm Perry the Platypus. I never thought you'd fall for the old distract Perry the Platypus with a weird bird trap. I gotta say, though, it's quite an ugly bird. And now for something a little more confining. You like it? It's biodegradable. A biodegradable trap. You know how everyone says, if you don't like meatloaf, it's probably because you haven't tasted my meatloaf? Well, it's true, because mine really is the best. In fact, I come from a long line of great meatloaf chefs. The recipe was first created by my great-grandmother, Gretel Doofenshmirtz, who passed it down to my grandpa, Jose Doofenshmirtz. Weird story there. Then he passed it down to my mom, who passed it down to Roger. Ugh. Naturally, I had to steal it from him. And when I did, I finally found out what the secret ingredient was. The secret ingredient was hate. Usually it's love, but Great Grandma Gretel had some issues. With this recipe, I'm sure to win the Danville Meatloaf Festival! But just in case, I have the Rottenator! With a quick blast of this, my competitors' meatloafs will be completely rotten! My victory is guaranteed! Oh man, this is awesome! And that's not the half of it. We're gonna fill it with helium. Hey, Buford, we are going to float like little woodland pixies! You're never gonna let me live that down, are you? Okay, everybody, let's bounce. The next item up for bid is this lovely Mona Lisa reproduction made entirely out of recycled guitar picks from the Paisley Sideburn Brothers. Shall we start the bidding at $10? Um, excuse me? May I borrow these for a moment? Thank you. Phineas and Ferb. Stacey, I'm going to skip over my dramatic agonizing about whether I can resist the urge to bust my brothers, and I'm just going to give you my $70, my auction paddle, and tell you to do the best you can to get that bobblehead. Oh, here. Thank you. Seriously, who brings opera glasses to an auction? I'm at an auction? Okay, Candace, this is all the money you gave me, so this is my final bid. $70, do I hear $75? $70, going once, $70, going twice. No, wait, we've got $75. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stacy, I found 37 cents. Raise the bid. Hello? Oh, stupid non-waterproof cell phones. 
this garnish, I leave nothing to chance. <laughs> the meatloaf is complete. <laughs> the judges? I better zap that guy's meatloaf. I ride the trap? Oh, I should have never made that out of biodegradable material, stupid mother earth. For that, I'll turn you run. And that will stop annoying me. Fresh cucumbers. Fresh pickles. This novel is so riveting. Oh, what a rotten ending. Here's some refreshing milk. Ew, it's curdled. Well, I can fix that. Here's a spoon. Hey, we're over to Meatloaf Festival. Anybody else hungry? I don't know. Still need something. It needs paprika. Well, how much? Time to eat. Buford's pulling us down. How is that possible? He weighs no more down there than he did up here. It's probably best not to question. Oh, boy, meatloaf on a stick. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Okay, see you in a few. Buford, what are you up to? I got something I need to do. Hey, Shrimplex, I've got something for you. Hey, I'm getting tired of this. Hold still. Oh, no, my meatloaf! I've noticed how often my innators hit things that I never intended them to hit. It's quite odd. Hey, the platypus, give me that back. Ah! Oh, and you had to put it on your ray, didn't you? Curse you, Barry the platypus. All right, Jamie, how about this booth? Ew, this is rancid. I can't believe I'm saying this, but some kind of preservatives in this meatloaf would have been a blessing. Wait a minute, disqualified. Oh, it can't possibly be that bad. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, someone's gonna have to call the paramedics, I think. Buford, I have never seen this side of you before. I am very proud. Yeah. I retract my former statement. Shall we be going? Yep. <laughs> Hi, Candace. Ew, what have you got all over you? A late entry. Okay, Mom, I've been dragged all over town by Phineas and Ferb's Mega Bounce House, which you'll probably never see. But the worst part is, I didn't even get my tiny cowboy bobblehead. What you need is some award-winning meatloaf. This is Nigel and Adrian. They're this year's meatloaf kings. Nigel and Adrian? You're a tiny cowboy! What are you doing here? Well, isn't it obvious? We're here for the meatloaf. Music is great and all, but our one true passion is meatloaf. Wait, Nigel and Adrian are... Are you sure? They're not tiny. And, come on... You're not even cowboys. Mom, you're embarrassing me. Candace, could we interest you in some of the world's greatest meatloaf? Oh, don't mind if I do. Is it vegetarian? It's got meat, actually, in the name. Just kidding. Hum. <laughs> Ground beef and breadcrumbs, some onions and an egg. My mouth is watering, so please don't make me beg. I know everybody's got their taste and that's just fine But if you say that you don't like it Then you've never tasted mine I'm talking about meatloaf Meatloaf So moist and savoury It's beef that's shaped like bread Don't know what that aroma's doing in my head Whatever we don't eat We'll discreetly put away But never fear my meatloaf We'll eat again someday I'm talking about meatloaf I'm a meatloaf lover I'll tell your brother, yeah Don't need no other Talking about meatloaf Meatloaf, meatloaf lover Want you from the inside Like it's made by your mother Talking about meatloaf Meatloaf, yeah We're talking about meatloaf Wait, is that Tiny Cowboy? <laughs> Talking about meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf lover. Want you from the inside like it's made by your mother. Talk about meatloaf, meatloaf, yeah. We're talking about meatloaf, meatloaf.